Hey guys, Josh Spoon in the Producers Kitchen. We're gonna be using Captain Plugins to get all the chords that we need to put into the Digitac um, for us to be able to make music. Uh, no matter what key you're in, anything like that, uh, we're gonna use the Captain Plugins, Captain Chord um, inside of Live to sequence out to the Digitac and then we can make what we want. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna use Captain Play to uh, be able to just play the chords right into the Digitech. So I'm gonna go into Plugins, VST, I'll just search Cap, Captain Play, drop that in there. And here I could choose, I'm just gonna choose C, and we're choosing C because that's just kinda of how a lot of things sample off of. It's better just to just sample C and middle C and then go from there. So once that's set up, so then I can just use the keyboard and play my C major. I could play my C minor. And then I can go through uh, all these Cs. So the C sus, C7. And then I can hit shift and go through all these Cs and sample all those in. I'm just gonna sample a couple of these for the sake of time. I'm just gonna do C major, uh, C minor and C sus. So I'm going to use one of my own sounds. So I'm going to go to my user library and then Breeze, which is available on the Keck pack. So I've got Breeze and I want to send the MIDI from Play into Breeze. So what I'm going to tell Play to do or Breeze to do is get MIDI from Play and then get the actual play module. And I should be able to mute this. I click on play. Yeah. So now I can go over to the Digitac. I've got a threshold that's relatively low since there's not a lot of noise coming from the computer. I'm sampling external left and right. It's going to sum it to mono. And then I have monitoring to yes so I can hear what's coming in. So what I'm going to do is then hit, uh, I'm going to say arm, which is yes. So it's not going to record until something comes over the threshold. One thing I need to do inside of live is tell it where I want it to go. So I'm going to say external out three and four, and you can see it's out to DT. In live 10, I can name these so I can put this. So I got one and two coming in from the Digitac in from DT. And then on the output, I've got out to DT. So that's how this name ended up here. And then I'm using my audio interface to be the ins and outs. If you look on the Digitac, you can see these two guys are coming in from the computer. So you input left and right, and these are going out to my computer. So this is coming uh, in from three and four out of my my eye connectivity audio 4 plus and these are going into the uh, eye connect 4 plus so now i should get signal coming in through here Max I get is 33 seconds, so you may have to break it up. So once that's done, it's going to normalize, and then I can start trimming. So I can come in here, I'm going to zoom, I always forget which way is zoom, it's trim. And the more I zoom in, the faster I can trim. So then I'll hit trim, yes, save yes, and I'll go in and then I'll go in and name it. So I can delete everything and then just do oh, C Mage. And then I'll hit save. 
but I already have one saved, so uh, I'm not going to do that. But I hit save, it asks where I want to, now nah, let's just do it. It'll ask where I want to assign it. Uh, I'll assign it to three, and then this sample would go right on to three. But I already have it on three, so I'm not going to do that. So there it is right there. I have a little LFO on it. Filter, frequency, a little wobble. So once you go through and get all of these recorded with their shifts, um, you'll have eight different types of chords that you can mess with. And then from there, you can pretty much build everything you want. There aren't any diminished uh, in here, so you could just use, uh, you could just grab the B diminished and then pitch that up. Um, and that's all you're going to be doing. Once you have all these samples, once you have all these row right here, and then this diminished, you have essentially most of the chords that will be played in songs. So after that, it's all about sequencing. So if I, so if I go into the trigs where I sampled that C, my first trig is the C that I sampled. The second one has changed. That one is C7. If I go to the second page, we'll see that this one is C again, and then we'll see that this one is C minor. But I also pitched it. So if I go to the trig, hold this guy down, um, we can see that it's A and not C. So it's an A minor that's being played right there. With Captain Play, it allows you to dump chords really quickly into your Digitac from any type of host, and you could use any sounds that you like. So if you like something in contact or silent or whatever, you want to build really cool chords, you can just throw in Captain Play, have it sequence the chords you want, and then um, chop them up and then assign them in a Digitac. You have everything built out and you just get rocking in the box. Cool guys, I hope that was helpful for you. Um, you got some ideas about how the Digitac works, um, a little bit about Captain plugins, and um, just some ideas of things that you can do to make your workflow a little bit easier. Once again, I'm Josh Spoon, Producers Kitchen. Remember, always be creating, whether it's a good day, bad day, or otherwise. Reach for the stars. <laughs>